Rina Sawayama is back. I've been waiting on this, man. Uh, Rina broke out in 2017 with that fantastic EP. I think it was definitely the best EP of that year that I'd heard. And even like as the decades progressed, I'm starting to think of it as being maybe one of the best EPs of the decade. Certainly, if you were to just kind of compile a list of like pop releases, I would definitely put that one EP up against most pop albums I've heard. Like seriously, this is high praise. I think she's honestly uh, got a huge like she's got a huge potential to to really take the world by storm, honestly. The production generally is fantastic as well from Clarence uh, Clarity. I think his, uh, his diverse styles, honestly, producing for her and then doing his own stuff, it's crazy. He's really, really on point most of the time. And uh, yeah, Rena's performance is fantastic. The songs are incredibly catchy all the time. I'm just ready to see what she's gonna do next. She dropped that great single last year as well, Cherry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hyped for some more Rena, man. I do not know what the plan is at the moment, though, if this is going to lead on to an album, another EP. I mean, surely it's going to be an album at this point. You can't just drop an EP again after this amount of time. I think that'd be kind of a letdown, but we'll see. Hype for this new song, STFU. Shut the fuck up, probably. Let's go. Shut the fuck up. Go. <laughs> I just turned crying TV on voices. This reminds me of the Grime single that came out last year where she just went completely left field. Man, I did not see it's coming. I love how it transitions to this stuff. It's like, it's just, oh man. And this is just like the classic arena that we've known at this point in this section. It's, it's, it's mad. This is mad, what the fuck? Man, this is, this is like, it's like Bring Me The Horizon done well. Wow, I did not see that coming. I don't think many of her fans would have seen that coming unless she's been hinting at this or like if I've missed something here or what, I don't know, but like, this, this worked, it, it really worked. It, she just sounds like she's been doing this for years and like, yeah, I think her voice meshed so well with the instrumental, even though she's got quite a soft voice. It, that works so well. Didn't go on too long either, which is perfect because that instrumental probably could have gotten a bit duller if it went on for like four minutes, but it really barely touched three minutes. I think that was perfect length. The way it sort of does that little transition into the chorus as well, I think that's incredibly, really well executed. I don't know if Clarence is on this, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's a part of this, to be honest, because again, I've always talked about how I think his production is just really, really impressive all the time. Um, so yeah, I'd have to look into that, but I just want to listen to this again, like, what the hell? I think there's enough crossover as well for this to like, really work with her fan base. I don't think her fans are just people that want pop music. I think the way she got popular through, you know, of course, Anthony Fantano, we can't not lie about that. He was a really big influencer in pushing her to more people, but that audience isn't just a one genre, you know, mindset. It's not like, oh, they're only there for pop music. No, like the, the fans of hers will be welcoming anything of any kind. So I just don't think this will slow her down or anything. If anything, it could elevate it to even more success. Will the album be all like this? So I don't know. I, I don't know if it's gonna be a bit of a mixed bag of different ideas, but she's pulled it off in this style and we've heard her do great pop music so far as well. Like, yeah, she's nice to watch right now. This is, this is, this is, yeah, 2020 is hers for the taking at this point. I thought the date thing at the start of the video was was okay. I don't know, like I think 
what she was trying to go for was just like throw in as many stereotypes that have been thrown at her in her life into one date scenario but it kind of just ended up being a bit corny to watch but i, I get the idea and the, of course how it transitions into the song was perfect too so yeah like oh man rena get listening to rena if this doesn't put you onto her you're crazy crazy i'm excited for an album let me know your thoughts i'm gonna listen to this song right now again because i think it's pretty damn good on first listen so i'm hoping it holds up tell me what you think of this have a good day. Goodbye. Oh, well.